So let's take a look at these real time temperatures to what you got. And that's Bogalusa I was just discussing 41 almost into the 30s. Lakefront help of the lake 58 degrees. Buras also help of the ocean at 55. The Gulf 50 officially here in New Orleans, but even Grand Island Galliano, you're almost into the 30s as well. So we got temperatures just generally say 50s and 40s. Lack of the breeze allowing temperatures to really kind of now, if any of the heat we had today escape, and then it's even with the core of the cold pushing in. So we've got freeze warnings once again. North Shore, Mississippi counties, we could be as cold as 29. But even there, Bogalusa, you could be on the way to maybe 28 or 27. I've got some areas that could be that cold. So as we look at the temperature tracks for the next few days for low temperatures, again, a record cold start could be had for Slidell tomorrow, breaking or even tying a record here at 30 degrees is the going forecast. But you can see those temperatures will be going up even in the morning hours. I mentioned that the high pressure right on top, allowing any of the warmth we had or relatively speaking to escape. But the core of the cold is also coming right on top of us. So combination of high pressure right overhead, a lack of any breeze and the cold that spills in. That's the coldest start we've got. And then we start the warming trend by Thursday afternoon going into Friday and continuing for the weekend. So again, it's just the temperature forecast here. Clear skies tonight. This allows for a very cold start. So make sure when you get up, you've got those coats ready to go. Maybe even some gloves for some. Lack of a breeze means a more widespread frost is available and even could find some frosty areas south shore. Homa, Galliano, upper 30s. 29 I got for Bogalusa, 30 at Slidell. 45 is what I got here for tomorrow morning when you wake up. So even if you're not freezing, it is still cold for the hats and whatever you do and need to keep warm, especially sending the kids out the door. Thursday afternoon, you can see the lack of breeze with the sun. Sun, we're actually up upper 60s to low 70s. So that's going to feel fine. Temperatures finally getting a rise, and I'm always astounded. It's this time of the year you can have the biggest range in temperatures rising 35 to nearly 40 degrees from the cold start in the morning hours. Lows on Friday, not as frigid, but still pretty cold. Low 40s to even some 50s, but we'll continue to bring those up. Thin wisp of a cloud to be had on Friday and upper 70s and nearing 80 degrees. Let's extend that forecast. Head to the weekend even warmer. Winds will start to switch and that means we'll start to bring in a little higher humidity to be felt Saturday afternoon and Sunday and still appears that around next Tuesday, it's the next likeliest round of rain, maybe lingering into Wednesday before another push of cold comes. But we do start to see some rain chances re-entering the picture. As we're still in tropical season officially, Cold front has scoured out much of the storm activity that's been in the Gulf. And you look at any organization whatsoever in the Atlantic, and we just don't have it. So no expectations of anything here over the next five days. Even small craft advisories are gone for the Gulf. Plenty of sun. Great day to maybe get out some fishing. I hope you're not playing hooky and doing that tomorrow. Tidal range is starting to contract a bit after recent, reaching a recent peak. 71 to 80 and low 80s for the weekend. Just a couple of clouds, but holding off any rain chance. So I just showed as we get into next week, the 80 on Tuesday is all about a timing. If the front's a little bit later, it could be mid 80s. If it's a little bit earlier, it could be 70s for highs. Yeah, we got a long way to go between now and then. In the meantime, keep warm tomorrow.